Hi, this is Kevin with Icon Pro Audio, and today I'll be showing you how to bring up the EQ in Logic Pro and control the parameters with the QCOM Pro X. Now, I do have a Logic overlay on the QCOM Pro X. However, Logic has been manually selected upon DAW Select in the startup. The QCOM Pro X is a touch sensitive motorized control surface. On each channel you have a pan pot, also referred to as an encoder in the manual. You have your record arm, solo, mute, track select buttons, and fader. In the control section, you have DAW assignable functions. So first you want to start off by selecting the channel you want to EQ. I chose the kick. From there you want to press the EQ button. When you press the EQ button in the control panel, the EQ analyzer opens up inside of Logic as well. I can then use the pan pot encoders to change the parameters in the EQ as you can see on the screen. Now I'm going to give you an example of how you can use the QCOM Pro X to control the EQ parameters and logic. And for this demonstration, I'll be using a kick drum. Okay, let's play the track. So first I'm going to select the kick track. The kick track has been selected. Then I'm going to press the EQ button in the control panel. Of course, when I do so, uh, the analyzer will pull up in Logic. So let's start off with the, the high pass filter. I'm going to engage it and turn it on. Once I have it on, I'm going to roll off some of the low end. You will start to hear the kick disappear, the punch of it. I'm going to turn it on and off. Can you feel it? Nothing can break you. Mother drum hum evoking your nature. You let the monster Now that it's back on, I'm going to reset it by just pressing in the pan pot encoder. So once I press the frequency pan pot encoder, you can now see on the analyzer and logic that the high pass filter has reset to 20 hertz. Now let's move on to the high pass filter shelf. Let me turn on. Whoa. It's a big kick now. A little too much for this song. But just trying to give you an example. I can mess with the cue. I can turn on and off. I can reset. Uh, the game by just pressing in the encoder. Now it's back at 0 dB. Let's move forward. Now we're going to go to the uh, parametric bell filter. Turn on peak 4. Whoa. You can hear a little bit of the top end now. Top in of the kicks, so and I'm gonna just play around with the encoders, get different sounds. Okay, let's reset that by just pressing the encoder down. Alright. Now let's move to the low pass filter. 
follow the light you're looking ass moth man i'm cold in the plate you can't get those man this is the low pass filter shelf i have it boosted pretty high plus 19 db you get the top end of the kick i can reset that gain like it's pressing the coder down now let's roll off the top end turn it on Now you hear the oomph of the kick, but not much attack. I can reset that again. Now let's do something more drastic. Let's solo the kick. And so that's pretty much it. The QCon Pro X gives you plenty of tactile control over your EQ, mix parameters, and it's really easy to use. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and found it useful, please subscribe for more helpful icon tutorials. And if you'd like more information, please visit us at www.iconproaudio.com.